What's going on, guys? This is JP, and I'm joined with Stefan, aka the Nubasaurus, and uh, we are on Naughty's MMOs. And uh, we'll probably end up posting this on a couple other different channels. Probably we'll set it up on uh, Guild Wars 2's channel. If you haven't had a chance to go check them out, definitely go on over and check them out. But we have got some ridiculous big news that we're going to be posting on a couple different channels, such as uh, TGN Underground, obviously Naughty's MMOs, as you guys are seeing this on there, and also on Guild Wars 2 as well. So go on over and check out those channels as well. And Noob... You had brought me some new information that literally I just found out probably like 10 seconds ago. And I want to make this fairly quick because this is, uh, I don't know if this is, is this speculated news or is this official news? It's apparently official news according to forums, blogs, podcasts. Okay. Uh, most All people right. are confirming it. All right. Now everybody knows the Guild Wars 2 is going to be an unbelievable game. It is, uh, there's been so much hype around it. I mean, there's been a couple different big name directors. I'm not going to make that same mistake and make the uh, the assumption of who put out this news or anything like that, or, or not, not so much the news, but uh, the big names. I'm not going to bother saying them. But why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the news that uh, you heard. So the news is basically about questing and the way that questing is going to happen in Guild Wars 2, which isn't like any other game where there'll be no NPCs with big question marks or exclamation marks over their head giving you quests. What? Instead, really? you'll be going around. Yeah, all you'll be doing is going around from NPC city to NPC city, and there'll be these dynamic events going on, uh, which are essentially chain events. So, for instance, bad guys might uh, raid a city, and you've got to help uh, villagers put out the fire and prevent them from taking over the city. And uh, you'll get XP from that, and you get XP depending on how long or how much you've been involved with that event. So if you just join the event, just the end while everyone's actually, you know, killing all the rest of the bad guys, you might get a bit of XP. Well, if you're there right from the beginning, you'll get a ton of XP. Okay, so then here, here's here's my my situation that I'm gonna say then. So do you think that this game is going to be a, a huge grind fest then to to get up to level twenty? Um, I don't think so. Not so. What whatever, because. Uh, Basically, there's quite a few areas you can go and explore, and these events won't just kind of happen that, um, like, you take over a city and then five minutes later, they'll attack again. Um, the arena net said it could take, you know, days, weeks, even months until that same event happens. Oh, okay. So there, let's say that there's, you know, 15 different cities. Uh, are mm -hmm. they all going to be attacked at the same time, or are they going to be, you know, like a real-time event probably... type thing? It'll probably be different times, and um, so they might get attacked. Who knows? Maybe there are going to be times where they'll be attacked at the same time, okay. depending on how many people are online. But essentially, that's not like only it's it's chain events if you love to it. So maybe you'll go and actually get to a encampment of the bad guys. You actually destroy them there, and you find out that after you've done that, that a few of them happen to escape and went it uh, like hidden hidden the mountains or something. So you can go uh, after okay. them and leads up to that chain event, which then leads up to a different chain event. And it just all adds up to chain events throughout the entire game. And that's how you level up. Okay, so then is it going to be, uh, like, will there be, like, uh, explanation marks over top of, like, hey, can you help me out because my city's being attacked? Or is it just you're going to see a shit ton of people coming to this city and you're like, oh, Jesus, like, we can attack them, so I'm going to attack them? Well, Guild Wars 2 is supposed to be very, very PvP-based, and they don't right. give a crap such about PvE, so there will be no explanations whatsoever. It will be just like you'd be running into a PvP battleground. People will be there attacking you like crazy, and you just jump into the firefight, go crazy, defend, attack, depending what role you're doing. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Just go for it. Now, yeah. is it going to be level-oriented? So if I'm a level one, let's say, and there's a city that's being attacked, is that going to be a lower level mobs, or is it going to be, hey, listen, these guys are a higher level, so I'm not going to be able to attack them, So which means I can't gain any experience? I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that, you know, it's going to be a typical kind of MMO feel that you start off in a kind of beginning area <clears throat> where you'll then slowly kind of proceed onto higher level objects because I guess that would make the most sense, obviously, because there's no way if you're a level 1 or 2 and uh, you go and attack and you're being attacked by level 20s or 30s, I mean, it's, it's useless, right? I mean, you're going to die. Oh, that makes so, sense. That makes 100% sense. Yeah, now, I, so I know I, I was that. talking a little bit about uh, that, obviously, Guild Wars 1, everybody knows, max level is level 20. Do they plan on adding a couple levels, or...? Yeah, yeah, um, they've added quite a few. I'm not exactly sure on the number. I probably should have checked that up, but um, I know it's a lot more, from what I understand. From what I understand. Now, that would be, obviously, pretty interesting itself. So, hey, guys, I would want to know exactly what you guys think. 
Is this going to be a make or break for you for uh, Guild Wars? Just because it's a brand new game, it's a hyped up game. Are you going to go out? Are you going to purchase this game knowing very well that there is no questing? It's more of going to be um, a defend my city kind of a deal. And are you going to like doing the grind fest? Are you going to like doing the events? Because as, as Stefan is saying, I mean, these events are going to happen at certain times throughout the day. And if you're not on, you don't gain any experience. So that's very interesting. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments section below. That's going to basically be it from me. Go ahead and like this video if this definitely does help you out. Maybe gives you a little bit more insight into the game itself. And uh, it always does help out a lot when you favorite our videos. It helps us make more videos. It helps us find more information for you guys. So anyways, guys, till next time, I am JP, and I was joined by Stefan. So we'll talk to you guys later. See ya. This video has been brought to you by The Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN.TV. To learn more, visit TGN.TV now.